Rachel doesn't know how to love someone halfway. It may take a while to break through, but once you're Rachel's, you're Rachel's. Stephen is a purist. He is most at home outside in the fresh air. He likes his fish caught right from the stream. He's patient and doesn't seem to mind putting in the extra time and effort for the right catch or kill, or in this case, girl. It does not seem possible that the love you get from Rachel Franklin as her friend or family could be faked. It's the most genuine and pure form of loyalty and devotion. She worries about us, celebrates us, thinks of us even more than we know. So it would make sense that eight years after meeting up at Applebee's, these two would be here today, still going strong by each other's sides, weathering many storms and life changes, accidents and losses and growth and struggles. What bonds them is the purity of their appreciation and respect for each other. I'm so incredibly lucky and thankful that you persevered, Stephen Charles, and that I get to be loved by you. I'm about to walk, walk alongside you the rest of our days and do my best to support you the way you have supported me. I'm about to love you endlessly, even during tough trials and times of disagreement. I vow to listen to you and your needs and put all of my effort into strengthening our marriage. I vow to persevere with you. I love you now and forever. You have made me a better father, a better man. I vow to love you forever in this life and the next, to honor you, to cherish you, to listen more with an open heart and open mind, to be by your side now and always. I love you, Rachel. The way Rachel tells it, before she fell in love with Stephen, she fell in love with Leela. As today is a momentous day for both Stephen and Rachel, it is also a very big day for you, Leela. My pleasure to present for the first time